Today, let's learn what's widely regarded as the best leader to line connection there is, the FG knot. This knot is extremely strong and really shines when attaching heavy monofilament or fluorocarbon leader line to braid, because unlike other line to line connections, the finished FG knot slides through the eyelets of a rod without problem. Despite its reputation for being slightly more difficult to tie than some other knots, after watching this video, you'll know how to tie the FG knot from start to finish in less than 90 seconds. Because this knot has a couple steps, I'll tie it twice to ensure as many details are covered as possible, and I'll also discuss some common mistakes I see people make when tying it, so make sure to watch the video all the way through to the end so you don't miss that. All right, so getting right into it, obviously before we tie the knot, we need to get the two lines that we're gonna tie together. In this case, we have a 50 pound braided line and a 100 pound monofilament line. So there are lots of ways to start the setup of this knot to tie it. And you see people do it all sorts of different ways. You'll see people with their main line kind of tied to two points so they can work with the leader line in the middle of it. You'll see some folks uh, wrap one finger so that they have, and then the other end goes to their rod tip, etc. I'm gonna show you a way that works really well for me and allows me to tie this knot relatively quickly. Um, I did not come up with this. I saw it a few different times from some other folks and I just thought it was a great idea. So the way to do it is you want to double over your line here. So you have about maybe a foot or so of overlap and then you take your doubled over line and you're going to wrap it around the pinky finger of one of your hands. So for me, it's my left hand because I wanna work with my right hand. So after you've done that, you now have this loop to work with. So I like to put it around my index finger and my thumb. And now I've created kind of a triangle here. So again, wrap the doubled line around your pinky and then once around your index finger, once around your thumb. Okay, so now we take our leader line that we want to attach. What we are going to do is leaving a couple inches uh, kind of going into the line here. So a couple inches on the left side of where we bring these lines together. In other words, we are going to take the leader line and run it underneath this braided line here and then pinch them together with my forefinger and thumb, okay? So once I've done that, I'm gonna take my leader line and I'm going to run it above and around the braid and then underneath and straighten it back out like so. So I've created one little loop there. Now I'll show you this again because we're gonna do it a whole bunch of times and we're gonna do the exact same thing over my index finger side. So we're gonna take the leader line, we're gonna run it above the braid, around, underneath, and straighten it back out. Okay? So again, and then we alternate back down to the thumb. So above, around the line, below it, and we straighten it back out, like so. And I'm only moving my fingers here so that you can see it, but really you would keep this pinched. And then we're gonna do that again on the index finger side, like so. And then what we are going to do is we're gonna make that number, that, that same movement a number of times. And for me, I like about 18 wraps. And I'll explain why as we keep tying here. And again, I'm gonna tie it a second time so that we can talk through a little bit of this. But you'll see as we go, we're just creating a bunch of little wraps here that are all kind of tightly in a line. I'm keeping a little bit of pressure on the line um, and just kind of moving my hands to allow for that wrapping movement. So, and you'll see once you get practiced at this, um, it really is super easy to do. So once I have about 16 to 18 wraps, I'm going to pinch all of this together and then I'm going to let it go off my pinky. And I have my main line here, which is just in line with the leader line. And then I have my tag end. So what I wanna do is tie this knot down, right? It's not a knot yet, but we have all these wraps. I don't want the wraps to fall out. So I need to tie my first knot to keep it together and that's gonna be a half hitch knot. So I have my tag end. I'm going to just run it down below and then lay it on top of both of these lines together, like so. So again, it's down below. I'm just gonna create a loop and then I'm gonna run it and lay it right on top of these two lines together, like so. And then I'm going to take the tag end and run it through the loop like so, pulling all the slack out. And then I can complete the knot by pulling the tag end tight and pulling on the main line. Before I pull this all the way tight, I do recommend wetting the line here. Like so, and then you can tighten that half hitch. And what that little half hitch knot does is it locks all of these loops in place. 
Now these loops are really what create the hold for the knot. Um, we're gonna talk about how to finish this knot on the left side here, and there's lots of discussion about how many knots to tie and in what order and stuff to finish this, but really all you're doing on the left side of this knot is locking this knot in place. The actual strength of the knot comes from all these wraps, and what they need to do is they need to dig in to this leader line. And in order to make that happen, there's a step right here that you can't forget, which is basically cinching both of these lines down and pulling them together as hard as you can. And so you can do this lots of ways. You can use line tighteners, you can wrap stuff around your pliers. You can, if you have heavy leader line, you can wrap it around your hand. I would caution you not to wrap your braid around your hand because it will cut you. Um, so for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use the line spools here to make it an easy, um, a clear demonstration of kind of what happens when you tighten this down. But before I do that, take a look at what we've done here. And if you can note how far kind of off of the leader line these wraps lay, because what's gonna happen is we're gonna pull these together and you're gonna see these wraps tighten down and this braid kind of bite into this leader line. So I'm gonna try to do that in front of the camera so that you guys can see it happen. So I'm gonna to start to give it some pressure. You're gonna see it move a little bit and then just watch those wraps as they cinch down onto the leader line. And there's a small difference there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but these are now really tight in against that leader line. In fact, when you run your fingers over them, they feel almost hard because they've dug really hard into this leader line. So that's the strength of this knot. Um, like I said, there's a lot of discussion about how to finish the knot and that is an important part, but all of the strength comes from right here in this knot. So what we wanna do now is finish it basically. So we're gonna do two more of the half hitches that we just tied. So again, we have the main line here and then the tag end of the leader line and we're just gonna take the tag end of the braid we're going to create a loop here, run it on top of both of those lines together, and then take the tag end and pass it through the loop that we just made, like so. Like that. And then before you cinch it down, you just grab the tag end of the braid and pull together. So that was one more, so we've made two in total. And let's do it one final time. So that's one third time, like so. We cinch it down. And that's three half hitch knots over the top of both the leader line and the braid, the leader line and the main line. Now what we're going to do is tie three half hitch knots only over the main line itself. So the way to do that is you just kind of move the leader line out of the way. So as you can see, I'm just kind of pinching it and holding it out of the way up here. And all I'm gonna do is take my tag end, create a loop like this over the main line run the tag end through like this, and then cinch it down. Like so. So that's one. You can do this several different ways. You can pinch this line kind of out of the way here. I don't like to manipulate the knot too much, um, but just the point is you don't wanna tie it over both the leader line and the braided line. So. I'm only tying it over the main line here. The leader line is out of the way. It's not gonna be part of this little half hitch. So that's the second half hitch. And then we're gonna do it one final time. And that's going to finish the knot. Like so, we run it through. Now, I know what's gonna happen in the comment section, um, which is that a bunch of people are gonna tell me that that's not enough to finish this knot. There's a lot of discussion online about how to finish this knot. There are folks who wrap alternating half hitches six, 10 times on both lines, and then they cut the main or the, the leader line, and then they run six or 10 alternating half hitches after that, and then they do a risotto whip finish um, over here. That's all great. If you wanna do that and that works for you, I encourage it. Um, the point I wanna make here is that the strength of this knot comes from this side of the knot, not over here. The entire purpose of this side of the knot is twofold. One, it's to make sure that this 
doesn't come undone from this side and that too um, it has enough strength to go through the eyelets of the rod repeatedly without coming apart and so for me six half hitches uh, seems to do that well enough in my experience that works really well um, in tests online, it appears that that works well too. If that doesn't work for you, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. I've tried the risotto whip finish. I've tried additional half hitches. I've tried alternating half hitches. And to me, um, I either mess them up when I'm tying them and it comes undone and ends up worse or uh, it just doesn't make enough of a difference. So last thing you have to do is take your favorite pair of clippers and you can clip the leader line and you can clip that very close to the knots that you just tied. And then you want to do the same thing. Uh, separate your, your tag end here and take your clippers and clip that relatively close to your knots. I like to leave a little bit more tag end with the braid just because it doesn't hurt. It doesn't knock up against the eyelets or anything like that. But what you've tied is a very sleek, very slim, easy to finish FG knot that's gonna work really well. So let's tie it one more time all right, so second time, I'll tie this one just a little bit faster so you can kind of see what I mean, but you get your line set up. You take your main line, double it over, give yourself you know, about a foot or so of double over line, and then you wanna take the bottom of that double over section, wrap it around your pinky, like so. You're just anchoring it here. Um, then you take your loop and you put your index finger and your thumb through that. You've created yourself a little triangle uh, with your working hand. Take your leader line, put it underneath the braid here, pinch the two together, and then run your leader line up, over, around, um, and through, and you've created one loop. And then the same thing, run it up, oops, knocked my camera there, up, over, around, and through, and there's your second wrap. And you are going to do that 18 times. Now, as I do this, what you kind of can't see is every time I complete one of these wraps, I just give a little bit of pressure that way, a little bit of pressure to the left, and it keeps all the loops kind of joined with each other and stacked on each other, like so. And it keeps everything really neat um, so that you can finish the knot easily. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of comments on this video talking about you need more wraps than that. There are people who do 20 wraps, there are people who do 30 wraps. But like I said earlier, um, the strength of this knot comes from the ability of all of these wraps to bite into this leader line. And so the problem that you run into is if you do 20, 30 wraps here and you have, you know, this entire section is wrapped. Problem is you can pull on that as hard as you want, but all of these wraps are not going to bite into this leader line. And if this wrap here on the very end doesn't end up biting into the leader line, you don't have a completed knot and that knot will come undone. So a lot of people kind of mistakenly think that more wraps is stronger and that is not necessarily true with this knot. More wraps can be stronger, but again, you have to make sure that they are fully cinched down in order to actually not compromise your knot. So we have all our wraps. We have the main line running here with the leader line. We're gonna take our tag end, lay it on top of both of them, tie a little half hitch to secure all the loops in place, like so. And by the way, I don't recommend like before you have this cinched down, I would try to keep this pinched together as much as you can, just not to compromise it, but obviously I wanted to make sure that you all could see what I was doing. So um, that's one half hitch. I like to wet the line at this point and then tighten everything together. And while that's happening, if this video has been at all helpful to you, hitting that subscribe button really helps the channel and I very much appreciate it. Again, I'll do that in view of the camera so that you can see it. Take everything and cinch it down. like so and you can see you know the line was shaking a little bit you really do want to put a lot of pressure on it when you cinch this knot down because you want to create that bite right here and you can feel it when you do it i mean this line just gets hard basically so we're going to do two more half hitches we create our loop we lay it on top of both the leader line and the main line take the tag end run it through and pull it tight and then we're going to do that one more time like so, take the tag end and pull it tight. Okay, that's three half hitches on top of both the leader line and the main line. Next, to finish the knot in its entirety, we are going to do three half hitches 
only on the main line, like so. One. And again, you can do this however you want. You just want to make sure that you move the leader line kind of out of the way. Two. And three. And at that point, you can wet everything and give it one last pull. But you will see that not much is going to move there because the knot has been tied. You're just making sure that those little half hitches that you tied are nice and tight. You take your clippers, clip your leader line like so. Oops, I did not clip it close enough. Like that, I probably wouldn't leave that much on it. And the reason being is this is gonna go through your eyelets that way, and that has the potential to catch on the eyelets in your rod, and you really don't want that. The benefit of this knot is that it can run through the eyelets really smoothly. So I'm gonna trim that down a little bit more so that you can see exactly how much I left there. Um, you can clip it even closer than that if you'd like, but that, that'll do just fine. And then I'm gonna take my braided tag end, clip it there, and there we have a completed FG knot. And there you go, possibly the best knot for line to leader connections you can tie. If this video was at all helpful to you, please consider subscribing to see more content like it. And thank you so much for watching.